demons uh, and we'll take it from there we'll just ask and invite the lord in uh, to open our hearts and our minds so that as we hear his word his inspired word that he would just speak to us to our hearts to our minds and allow us uh, to experience his word anew on this day and today's reading comes from hebrews chapter 10 it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins therefore when christ came into the world he said sacrifice and offering you did not desire but a body you prepared for me with burnt offerings and sin offerings you were not pleased then i said here i am it is written about me in the scroll I have come to do your will, my God. First, he said, sacrifices and offerings, burnt offerings and sin offerings, you did not desire, nor were you pleased with them, though they were offered in accordance with the law. Then he said, here I am. I have come to do your will. He sets aside the first to establish the second. And by that will, we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. So, hi everyone. I am. Uh, I'm really glad to be here and uh, talking to you today. And um, I took that reading out of last Saturday's um, the Annunciation of the Lord, and it was um, very moving because the Lord actually put that in front of us on our Holy Spirit uh, and he's talking to us every um, every time we seem to have an alpha. Uh, the readings uh, touch our hearts and the and we feel that he's there with us at the alphas because the readings uh, correlate to what we're doing in alpha and it's just wonderful and um, it's that wonderful feeling we get. So that's why I said uh, when Emily said um, would you like to do it and I said wow that's just what uh, God wants, you know, and um, also coming up to Easter, and it's also coming up to the Divine Mercy uh, Sunday, uh, plenary indulgences are there, so if you think about it, it's God, he sacrificed his son, and Jesus came for us, and it's a wonderful thing, I think, that he's done for us, and um, he's given us uh, graces and now, with the divine mercy, he's also given us a plenary indulgence. So we can get rid of some of our major sins and things like that. Now, I've also got uh, Psalm 39 there. I think John's going to put it up. What I use, I use this psalm. Uh, it's also from the um, Annunciation of the Lord. And this psalm um, really touched us. And we gave ourselves to the Lord, to, to Jesus. And um, when you read it out, you know, it, it, it says the response was, here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. So in sacrifice, in offerings and all that, he doesn't want that. He, he wants us to sacrifice ourselves, to give ourselves to him. And he will use us in the most wonderful ways. And... Um, you know, your will, if you say to him, your will will be done here on earth. I will do it. I will come and do your will. He came and did our will. He, he gave his life. Jesus gave his life for us. And in this particular psalm, it's so powerful. When I read it out to the group at the Holy Spirit Day, each person read the responses. My lips have not been sealed. So... He doesn't want us to seal our lips, to tell everyone about him. You know, your love and your truth. I will not hide it from the great assembly. And if you reply, here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. So you will not hide his truth. You will not hide his love from the great assemblies, which is all your parishes. And it's a wonderful thing. And when, he, when you give yourself to the Lord like that, he shows himself in amazing ways and he showed himself to our group in various ways and very powerful ways. And I know um, amongst people, 
we tend to doubt. I tend to doubt. I tend to worry. Now, is that the Lord speaking? Is that God speaking? Is that in the gospel? Is that him talking to me? Because that's what's happening in my life now. So when we doubt, we're actually lying to ourselves. And it's not a nice thing. And we're, we have to be truthful with ourselves and with God and realize that that's him speaking to us. So um, in the last final passage, I want to put something that Pope um, Clement X actually said. I want whatever you want, the way you want it, for as long as you want it. So we give ourselves to God and we say, I want whatever you want, God, the way you want it and for as long as you want it. And he'll work miracles in your life. So thank you, everyone, for listening to me. And I'd like to thank um, John and Emily and all the team there and Alpha who helped us with this Holy Spirit. And, and I'd also like to thank all of you all there for praying for us. Every Friday you come here and you pray for us. And the prayers that you have given us, the power of our Holy Spirit was only because of all of you all praying for us. And I'd like to thank all of you all, Roly and Susan Healy, who did a wonderful Holy Spirit training there. I'd like to thank them as well. So God bless you all and amen to Thank you so much, Stephen. Thank you for those really just reflective and thoughtful words as we uh, prepare for Holy Week next week and the, the joy of Easter. Just beautiful reminders for a, 